What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. We just finished testing this portable rechargeable soldering iron. Is it any good? Well, you're going to want to stay tuned because it's coming up next on Van City RC. been pretty poor as of late here in Western Canada so I brought in a handful of items to save for rainy days this is the first of them and this is actually the one I'm most excited about so let's get it out here USB rechargeable soldering iron so it's a very small manual it's basically showing you everything that's included on the front here they're telling us we have a 2200 milliamp hour battery inside set up and operating instructions are right there and the Chinese is on the back so we do get this cool little kit and the idea behind this specific product uh, was I was hoping I was looking for soldering irons and actually we have a couple more coming up in future uh, videos here but this one uh, is one that I'm hoping to be able to take out into the field with me when I'm running the RCs or the drones I've had a couple times where I've uh, needed a soldering iron to be honest with you to uh, to do a repair and all that meant is I had to pack up and come home so hopefully this will uh, suit my needs and but we'll see we're gonna test it out right now so I did take a peek at it and charge it up the other day but I haven't uh, haven't tried it out yet so nice little kit it comes in we do get some solder with it right there and we get three different tips with it which is cool put this aside for the moment and then our USB uh, charging cable right there so that's everything you get in the kit now I didn't know this when I purchased it but uh, if you look up that name brand right there, you're going to find out, like I did, that this is actually a vape. It's a vape without the vape attachment. So they've uh, used the body of a vape here and just uh, fitted it with uh, soldering iron tips to make a soldering iron. That's kind of cool. Right, guys, So the vape soldering iron, let's have a closer look at it and see how it functions. So we'll start with the charging port here. You can see the micro USB charging port at the bottom. I've got the included charging cable plugged in to a USB outlet and we just plug it in there and you can see the little lightning bolt there turns red which means we're charging. When it's done charging that lightning bolt will change white. So you're also going to see here we have a 40 and 80 and 100 watt setting. You hit that power button and you can see the 40 lights up. If we want to switch up to the 80 we would uh, rapidly hit that power button three times. And you can see it's now at the 80. And if we want to go up to 100, three more times. There we go. We're at the 100. And I'm just going to bring it back down to the 40 by hitting it three times again. There we go. So to operate this, it's not difficult. We'll actually, uh, we're going to do some tests right now. I'm going to show you the soldering tips first. I'm just going to plug it in. Since it's not fully charged right now, we might as well uh, let it charge up a bit. So we have three soldering iron tips here that come in these like little test tube uh, containers, which is nice to protect them. So we've got a blade style, we've got a precision point, and then like almost like a little flat uh, 45 degree round there. I'm not sure what that one's called. So we've got three options. We're going to start with the precision point here. So let me unplug that. Your tip here just screws in by hand to the top like so and you can see we got the precision tip so to operate this thing you're gonna have to uh what they uh, tell you in the manual is you're gonna hold this button down for seven to eight seconds and if you hold it any longer if you hold the 10 seconds it's gonna go into like a protection mode and you'll see if i hold it too long see it's all flashing there it's gonna shut down so the deal with this is you hold it for seven to eight seconds, you let go of the button, you can push it in right away and just continue on that way. You get into a bit of a rhythm. So basically um, what we're going to do here, we got the precision tip on. I'm going to bring in just an old drone uh, board here. We've got a battery hanging on it. This thing is never going to be used again. But uh, what I have had happen while out flying these little drones especially is I've had these wires actually uh, rip right off the board. So I'm wondering, and here's the idea here, hopefully we can see here, is we've got to set on 40. We'll show you that. 
So we'll press it down. We're holding on 40. And I'm going to see if we can desolder this. I'm going to let it warm up a bit. So we're going to press it again because we were holding it for about 7 seconds there. And basically I want to see if we can desolder this. And not have uh, too much heat transfer. There we go. Not bad. So let me uh, let me pull in a little helping hand here. And let's see if I can uh, solder that back on. Because this is actually something that has happened to me. <laughs> and uh, basically that's it. Once this happens, you're, you're out of luck unless you can uh, solder it uh, while you're out there. So we're on 40 again, as you can see there. I'm heating it up. We're going to press it one more time there. And we're going to see if we can get that wire back on. All right, guys, there we go. Precision repair there. We didn't have the heat on the board for too long, so that should be fine. While I'm at it here, I do want to uh, remove this uh, little one cell lipo off the board, because we can probably use that for something else. So we should be able to use again the 40 watt. We're actually gonna go to 80 watts this time. So there we go, we've selected 80. We're gonna hold it down. And I think the secret to this, or not the secret, but the trick to this is just heat it up a bit before you actually uh, apply it. Because it's going to take a probably a few seconds at least to get that uh, heat up to the tip. Okay, let's see here. Perfect, we're on the 80 watt setting this time. And there we go. That worked out pretty good. And then we can go back down to the 40. And maybe we can uh, salvage this LED. Nice. This actually works out pretty good. All right. So we saw the vape soldering iron was able to do that uh, quick repair on the drone there. And we've switched out the tips now. We now got the blade tip on there. We're going to preheat this uh, soldering tip now. We've got it set at 100 watts. So we're going to go through a few cycles and what we're going to do here is we're going to step it up a bit and this is probably going to max out the, the limits of this one I would think is we've got a Dean's connector in the holder there, 18 gauge wire. We're going to try to solder that 18 gauge wire onto the connector. All right, let's see about getting some solder onto that. Uh, it doesn't take very long actually for this to heat up. got a fair amount of solder on there right now and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to dip this get some flux on the end of this uh, wire like so and I'm just continuing to keep that uh, keep that tip heated up so let's see what we can do here we definitely have enough solder on there I am struggling to keep uh, my hands out of the way or out in front of the camera there it out guys it actually wasn't too bad now for a quick repair while you're out and running yeah I think that's all right it's on there nice and tight I think that would keep us out having fun right and if we do need to uh, clean it up a little bit well we could do that at home at the bench so that worked out actually pretty good so you know what guys I don't I thought this was gonna be the limit actually didn't struggle too much with that how about we pull in a 12 gauge wire now and see if we can get this 12 gauge wire to solder onto the negative side alright guys we've set it up a little bit different I need a different angle to be able to do the negative here we've got the 12 gauge wire right here we're preheating the soldering iron right now there is a little bit of solder on here right now this is an old connector so let's see if we can uh, get what's on there flowing and then add a little bit more to it so we'll see the soldering iron should be nice and hot now yep and I'm not confident that the 12 gauge wire is gonna work I don't think we're gonna be able to transfer enough heat through it get a little flux on there a 
we'll get things flowing and see what happens. leaving the heat on for a bit here yeah it's not enough heat guys not for the 12 gauge it, it tacked on but see it's it's not enough you need to transfer quite a bit of heat to get that wire to uh, to adhere there so we're gonna call that a fail with the 12 gauge but with the 18 gauge we're good to go that held on just great so I think this is definitely something guys I'm going to be throwing in the pack. It's definitely going to be useful to me um, for anything thicker like a 12 gauge that needs repair. Obviously it's not going to not going to be happening with this guy. I'd have to pack up and bring it home but uh, for everything else less than that definitely uh, useful to me. So we're going to leave it at that for right now guys. You want to grab one of these vape soldering irons for yourself. I will leave a link down in the description for where I got it from. If you like this video, make sure you get a big thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you head out. And remember, don't be a stranger. We'll see you on the next one. See ya.